Welcome to Serengeti Estate, Johannesburg. Today, we are touring this exquisite modern contemporary home that is currently on the market for 8,199,000 rands. My name is Ole Wuching. Welcome to Property Cravings. This house is currently located in a very private spot of the estate. It has phenomenal views, great interior space, and I'm excited for today's review. The specifications of the home, you have five bedrooms, six bathrooms, two car parking garage with an additional space for parking, and it has 525 square meters of interior space built on 1,200 square meters of land. Before we start with our tour, I would love to thank the owner for giving us an opportunity to tour their amazing development. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and like this video so that you do not miss any other reviews that we are going to do in the future. Now, let's begin. From the street level, you have a driveway taking us to the entrance of the house and you have a garden both on the west and the east side of the house and what I want to mention is this garden is fitted with a smart irrigation system. What that means is it has, it can be able to detect or check the weather forecast whether there is going to be rain or not. If it is raining, it is going to save you water and money by not switching on. Now let's continue. On my left, you have a double car parking garage and on the right, you have a gate taking us to the other side of the house. Actually, it gives you immediate, immediate access to your scullery section. And on the, west, on the west side of the house also, just behind this garage, you have another entrance or a driveway leading to the front of the house as well. Now let's go inside the house. Before we get there, I want to mention that there's, they have added an I-beam here that makes this house to have a bit of an industrial look right on the entrance. And we have a beautiful cladded wall here. We have a beautiful cladded wall here that perfectly matches with this I-beam. And, and it looks very appealing to the eye. You have a floating bridge here with a quay pond just before your entrance. Now, as I walk inside the house, you have a glass aluminum door that takes us inside the house. Before I continue, on your entrance, immediately you will realize that this cladded wall, it starts from outside, flows seamlessly till the inside or through the entrance of the house. Now, on the entrance, you have a double volume space with a gorgeous chandelier right above me and there's a small hallway that is taking us to your double car garage on my left and on my right you have a door that is taking us to a guest bathroom or a powder room inside this powder room you have a vanity set up with a gorgeous sink and a floating water closet now the water closet right behind it you have a beautiful stone that is 
been cleared on the wall to give it an appealing look in this powder room. And your pipelines and everything are hid on your wall so that you have a clean look in your bathrooms. And you will see that on, in all the bathrooms. Now as I walk back into this small hall space, right behind me you have a picture window giving you a beautiful view to your garden on this side of the house. Actually, this is your north facing section of the house with a swimming pool and right in front of your picture window you have just a beautiful pot in front of your picture window. Now as I walk back into the entrance space, it is leading me to an open plan design that has an integration of your living area, your dining room, and also your kitchen space. Immediately you have a living space with a double volume space here and a floor to ceiling glass window that is divided by a, an eye beam here to give it a bit of an industrial look. Behind me is a TV section that is facing your dining room and your kitchen and this is very convenient meaning you can be able to watch your TV while you are enjoying your dinner with friends and family on the dining section or also you can still watch your TV when you are preparing food in your kitchen. On my right you have a floating staircase taking us to the upper floor where you have all the bedrooms and this floating staircase it has been cleared with salina wood casing now as i continue walking closer to this dining room you have such a beautiful design dining table here with your chairs and a bench here and just gorgeous yet minimal um, pendant lights here and what i want to mention is from your dining room to your kitchen you have a bulkhead design in your ceiling normally in most houses you have just straight ceilings but in in this house they've made it very interesting or they made the architecture to be interesting by incorporating bulkheads design for your ceiling as you move from your dining section you have a seamless transition from your dining room to your kitchen now as you enter this kitchen immediately you have an island with a an integration of both wood and scissor stone island which makes it very appealing to your eye gorgeous minimal beautiful now you have an, a smart induction stove and what that means is when your food is getting overcooked or whatever the case may be it can be able to reduce the heat and also it can automatically lock itself if your kids are trying to fiddle with the stove you have a sink section on your island here and also what i forgot to mention you have your hidden electrical uh, plugs here, additional cabinetry section on my left with a double door fridge section over here, additional storage plenty and you have a beautiful section that has been integrated on this section of the kitchen with a white oak material which is which has your appliances, your kitchen appliances which is your microwave and your oven actually it's two ovens and your micro oven now as i continue in this kitchen on this section you have a scullery section a linear glass window on this side giving you a view to your pond and your entrance to the house in this scullery section you have extra cabinetries your washing machine spaces yet another section with a white oak wood to make it looking appealing to the eye scissor stone countertop your sink and this door is leading us outside where you have an entrance to the house from the entrance of the house now as i walk back walking back to the kitchen you have a sliding door or a glass window right on this corner floor to this level giving you more natural light coming inside the house to have a perfect mix of your natural and artificial light which gives the house an appealing look especially during the day with your lights on and your artificial light coming inside now you have an indoor outdoor feeling right next to your dining room here with this folding doors taking you outside to your patio section and on my left you have a swimming pool that that makes this space very peaceful during the day or whatever time of the day and it gives you 
peace of mind and tranquility. You have a beautiful section of a garden here with plenty of space. As I've mentioned, this house has been built on 1,200 square meters of land. You have a swimming pool here and there's actually this section of the house is taking you to the scullery section. You have your playing stuff for your kids and this side of the house you have a guest or a separate guest uh, section. This house or this section it is fitted with a dining room, a bedroom and an ensuite bathroom. We will not be able to go inside because currently there is someone occupying the space. So we want to give them and respect their privacy. Now, as I walk back into the house, we are now going to tour the upper section of the house, which is the bedrooms. Now, let's go up. Now, as I land on this second floor or on this landing where you have all your bedrooms, you will notice this is a floating bridge connecting both the west and the east side of the house. We have two doors leading you to the main bedroom on this one. This one is actually a room or a playroom area for your kids. And it is very convenient to have such a room when you have kids, knowing that when they want to play or have some me time or play around, they can come into this playroom area. And this playroom area, it is also located on a floating section. It is not supported by anything. And it has a glass window on this section, giving you a view to your TV. So meaning actually your kids can actually have or look at TV when they're in this section or in their playroom. Now, as I walk back into this main landing, let's get to the main bedroom. Actually, you know what? Let us leave the best for last. Now, let's go onto this floating bridge with your glass railing on both sides. And additionally, you have linear glass window on this section as well to bring in more natural light on this section and this side of the house. So on your south and your north section, you have light coming into the house to have more natural light. And just before I continue, you have exposed trusses, which makes this house look gorgeous on the ceiling section with gorgeous pendant lights. Now, as I continue to the bedrooms, you have a picture window giving you a beautiful view to your garden. And you can actually see the rest of the estate from this side because you can see your walkway and your golf course on this section. There is a door on my left hand side, which is the first bedroom. In this first bedroom, you have your bed section on my left, minimal yet gorgeous. A TV section to entertain your guests or whoever may be occupying this room. A pendant light and a linear glass window to bring in more natural light. Actually, there is a sliding door as well here. They have fitted curtains here for privacy because now this one is on the south side where you have immediate access to your neighbors. Now, you also have a bathroom in this section or in this bedroom with a vanity setup, a shower and a floating water closet. As I've mentioned, everything has been pocketed inside the wall so that you have a clean look. Now, as I walk back into this main bedroom, before we go to the rest of the other bedrooms, I want to show you that this bedroom, fortunate enough, it has a huge balcony here and with a sitting table here, a, a pot, and you can take a beautiful view of the estate in this balcony. Entertain your friends if you want to, because there is such a sufficient space to chill out here and enjoy this space on this house. Now, uh, just before I walk inside the house, I want to mention that this wall is being made of gamazine design to protect your wall from wear over time. Now, let's go inside the house. And actually, gamazine walls, the paint lasts longer than your normal wall that has been um, Plastered. So if it is gamazine, your wall will last longer and prevents a premature wear on your wall. 
I'm walking towards the hallway leading me to a common bathroom. This is a bathroom on my left that is fitted with a bathtub, your shower and a vanity setup. Now in this bathroom, actually it is taking us to a bed. It is connected to a bed, this section. This bed, it is actually being currently used as an office. Um, let's use this door over the side to enter the bedroom. This is the door taking us to this bedroom, which is currently used as an office or a study section. You have, it is very functional currently with your computer section or your work area in this uh, room with your aluminum glass window with more natural light because now this is the west side of the house you can see the sun is about to set now let's walk back into the whole area to go toward the last other bedroom on this wing of the house as i walk closer this is a door taking me inside this last bedroom or oh, this is the last bedroom on this wing of the house where you have your bed section here minimal yet gorgeous they have kept the same pendant lights throughout these bedrooms. You have a linear glass window that also gives you a view to the swimming pool and the other balcony on the other side. TV section, plenty wardrobes for your clothes. And you have an open sliding door here leading us to a small balcony here, giving you a beautiful view to your estate, your golf course, walking, paths Oof. peace of mind you know what i love this estate oh lord give me nine million just nine million and i'll buy this house as i walk back into the house let us now go to the best room of the house or best bedroom for the house inside this last bedroom that i've been keeping away from you guys it is has so much room and so much space in this bathroom in this bedroom your bed section here minimal yet gorgeous and i love the color palette in this bedroom it is so perfect with a great appeal to your eye bulkhead design or bulkhead design on your ceiling as i've mentioned so this design it is on your den room section, on your kitchen, and also on the master bedroom. Wardrobe section on the left and the right hand side. So that would be his and hers, most probably. And then you have a double glass door leading us to the bathroom of this house. An ensuite bathroom. Sufficient space on this bathroom. Floating vanity setup. Free standing bathroom. Oh, what else can you ask for? Freestanding tab. His and hers vanity setup. A large mirror to look at yourself while you're taking a bath. Walk-in shower actually for your couple in the house. And minimal, beautiful. Ball head design on your ceiling as well. And you have your down lights as well. And this bathroom is minimal yet very functional oh lord just 10 million 10 million lord and i'll buy this house right now as i walk back into the main bedroom you have a sliding door that leads us to the north section of the house also giving you best views of the estate i mean of course this is the main bedroom how can you not have the best views of the estate as I walk outside into this balcony section, you can actually have your fire pit made here, relax with your loved ones. Take a look at these beautiful views of the estate. Actually, you have a water pond here. I have just, I didn't realize earlier on that you have a water pond here. Actually, you have a golf course section, walking path as I've mentioned. And what I also forgot to mention, on your garden, you have a gate leading you and giving you access, immediate access to your walking path or to your golf uh, section in there. And it is so private. What else can you ask for? It is the last house on the street. So private, minimal, beautiful. What else do you want?
I know what I want. What I want is just 10 million just to buy this house. Now we are done touring this exquisite home located in the Serengeti estate. If you are interested in buying this house, contact me on my social media pages and I'll give you an opportunity to do a live tour of this house. Now, see you on the next tour.